Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leah and this is my journey from America to Switzerland. So today I'm gonna talk to you guys all about my job here in Switzerland and give you guys a little life update since I haven't talked about it at all since I started. So for you guys that don't know, I moved here to Switzerland, gosh, it's been four months already, um, to teach English in an international school. And I work with kids, very little kids, two and three years old. I guess let me start off by talking to you a little bit more about my job. So um, teaching English to the kids, this is a bilingual school, so the kids learn English and German, and neither of those are their mother tongue language. So a lot of the kids here are from all over, like Spain, Portugal, Italy, Sweden. They're from everywhere um, and they come to school to learn English and German. So that has been uh, very interesting. It has been challenging to communicate with them just because not only at this age are they just starting to develop their language, but they are learning different languages that they're not used to hearing at home. So a lot of them talk to us in their mother tongue language and sadly we don't know what the heck they're saying. So I'm just like, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Um, and it's really super cute. So they're speaking sentences in their mother tongue language, but in English and German, a lot of them can only say words here or there, or sometimes they can say short phrases, but yeah. So that's been very interesting. I actually love that. Um, it's been challenging. I just got a new girl from Greece and she only speaks Greek. So she's just speaking in Greek. She's like blah, 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 speaking in Greek to me and I don't know what she's saying. And so communication with her has been hard. I like asked her parents to write down some Greek words for me so I could use with her because she does not understand any English or German at all. So, but she's caught on very, very quickly very very quickly so it's pretty cool I think this first week she was in my class at the end of the week she was counting to five in English it was amazing she was just out of the blue I didn't even like prompt her she was just like one two three four five <laughs> so cute but so yeah so that's what I that's what the job is um, and so it's me I am the lead teacher in the class and then I have an assistant teacher who is the German teacher so I speak to the kids in English she speaks to them in German so um, being able to understand German has really helped me out with this job because kids are sneaky they'll go to her and ask her something she'll say no they come to me and ask me something but I know what she said so I'm like hey <laughs> you can't it doesn't work like that so that's helpful because I know what she's saying to the kids at all times, so it helps me to um, reiterate that with them. Um, to be completely honest, um, the beginning was really rocky, which is why I didn't really talk about it too much or haven't talked about it. Um, but now it's gotten a little bit better and I'm ready to share everything. So yes, the beginning was rocky. Um, why? Definitely. The school was not as organized as I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to completely throw them under the bus, but they were just not very organized. So I was kind of thrown in amongst the chaos and I don't really like that. I don't think anybody likes that. So it's taken me about three months to get settled into the position and to get the classroom set up and organized and restructured to the way that I wanted it to be. So now that everything is restructured um i feel much better and more secure in the classroom and also now the kids are i know them and they respect me because if you know anything about kids they will test you completely and they tested me for a good two months and now that stage is over now they listen so it is great um, so I'm just going to talk to you about some a few differences with working in Switzerland compared to working in America and also just some pros and cons about working here. So the very first and biggest pro about teaching in Switzerland is the salary. So um, the salary in Switzerland is way 
better than in America. Um, in general, anything that you do in Switzerland, you're going to get a higher salary. Um, teachers are actually, I think, when I was looking it up, it's like second or third highest paid in the whole world. And it gets higher based on the age that you teach. So that's how they um, pay their teachers. So if you teach like their high school, some teachers can make up to six digit figures, which is crazy. So it is nice. I won't tell you how much I get paid, but for example, right before I moved here from America, I got offered a position teaching preschool. And what I'm getting paid now is double what they offered me in America and they required the same credentials and everything like that. So it's been really nice to have a nice salary for teaching because that's something that's not really valued in America. So that's been a great pro. Um, a con is that here in Switzerland, if you're full time, you're working 42 hours a week. So it's not a huge difference. You're probably like, oh, that's, but it does, sometimes it does kind of, you can feel it working 42 hours a week because then you're not really, you're not getting overtime, so you're just working 42 hours a week. Uh, so it's not a huge deal, but yeah, it's just a difference. I don't know if this is a pro or a con, but working in Switzerland, you usually just get paid once a month. So that's, yeah, it's not a pro or a con, it's just something different. In America, we get paid usually every other week, so. Um, so it just makes it a little bit harder to budget your money, Lynn, but it's still okay. Major, major, major pro that I love about this school, I don't know if it's Switzerland in general or just the school, is that they're really laid back. Like, nobody is micromanaging me or, you know, leaning over my shoulder um, in the classroom. I'm able to do pretty much whatever I want. I That's why it kind of took me a while to get everything organized because I, I just wanted my teaching philosophy to be reflected in the classroom, so I had to redo everything. And, um, you know, that there was no nobody, like, with guidelines telling me how I need to do it, basically. So that has been very nice. Also, there's a lot of freedom as well in the classroom. So um, as far as taking the kids places, it's really easy. We go on outings several times a week. Like, we'll go to different parks. We will go on field trips to the zoo, to other places, and it's really easy to do it. Like, I feel like we don't even really need to tell anybody. We're just like, okay, we're leaving. It's really chill. It's not as, because it's, you know, it's safe here in Switzerland, so they don't, there's not too much to worry about with taking the kids places. We're just able to just go. And we take the buses and we take the trams, the public transportation, to get there. So it's really nice. So a con with working in Switzerland is that often you have like training trainees and interns in the class because that's kind of how their education system works is that, I don't know how to explain it, but for different jobs they do like a internship slash trainee um, before they start school. It's just weird. But anyways, so that is, it's not a con too much. It's just difficult because that's so many different people in the classroom um, that you have to work with. And then sometimes it's tricky with interns because they're younger and I mean, it's not their fault, but they don't know too much about working with children because this is their first experience working in general so it's kind of hard because not only are you worrying about all the kids but you have to kind of worry about you know the interns in your class as well because you are basically their mentor and that's not, that's just how Switzerland is there's always going to be interns and trainees wherever you work because that's how their education system works so that is challenging something I'm not used to. In America, that's not a big thing to intern. I mean, you do, but it's not as common as here in Switzerland. And so early, they start interning. They can start at age 15. So yeah, that has been um, challenging, but it has definitely been an experience um, that has helped me be a better teacher, I think. 
Also, a really, really, really big pro to working here in Switzerland is that by law, you get four weeks of paid vacation a year. And my job offered five weeks. So that is the biggest pro about working here. That's why everybody is always asking me, why are you traveling all the time? How, how come? Like, they're like, do you ever work? And I'm like, yeah. And that is... <sighs> Oh, something different about working in Switzerland is that you the jobs here do not pay for your in health insurance um, that's just not a thing what your job does pay for here in Switzerland is accident insurance so if I were to you know knock on wood get hit by a car they would pay for that but if I get sick and need to go to the doctor they do not pay for that you have to get a separate insurance for that so that's definitely a con the rest of the experience has been just challenging because this is a different demograph of people I'm used to working with. Um, working at an international school, your parents and your children are wealthy. Let's face it, they are wealthy. The school is not cheap. The school that I work in costs 2,500 Swiss francs a month per child. That's how much they pay to go to this school. Okay, that is a ton of money. They make tons of money, um, these parents. And these parents are usually older. Um, most of my parents are, I'd say 35 and up, some 40 and up. And all of, a lot of them have only one child. So that is difficult to work with <laughs> because these kids are definitely not used to being told no and they're the only child so Yes, they are pretty spoiled, so that's kind of different to what I'm used to working with. And also, those types of parents. They're, most of them are really great, but you always get a few of them. Also, the cultural differences with teaching their children has been challenging a little bit. Um, they have different viewpoints about child development than... I'm used to what I learned in America. They do things differently. Yeah, it has been a great learning experience, but um, I have had a lot of challenges working at the school. Um, I'm not gonna go too in depth about it, but yeah, it's been decent so far and this is still a great opportunity and I don't regret at all moving here. And yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions at all, feel free always to leave them below or to send me messages on Instagram or Snapchat. I'm getting a little bit behind with responding because I'm getting tons of messages, so please bear with me. I will respond to you. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.